G'day and welcome to part 3 of Becoming Self-Employed in Red M. If you haven't seen part 1, please click on the banner in the top right of the screen. The link for part 2 is in the description. For this final endeavour, you will need your new wagon, the price of the storefront, which is $500 in Yellow Belly RP, a fireplace, a bucket or a watering can as it is known, and the knowledge from part 1 and 2. Before we get into the thick of it, let's take a look at why this business is 1. Great for new players and 2. Is a business that will bring you a continuous flow of cash with very little upkeep. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting the jerky box. What is that you ask? It's retaining certain items during our hunting and mining activities and using them to stock a storefront in the busiest town on your server. Unlike most possessions in Red Dead, the purchasing of food is a must if you want to live longer than a day. You're only going to own a horse or two, half a dozen guns, and zero special ammo if you're smart. None of these items age, except for a horse, break, or need repairing. So once the initial rush to purchase and upgrade is over, most businesses involving skilled professionals slump. Furthermore, gunsmith and horse trainers need to be present in their business to be able to receive guns and horses for upgrades. If they are not there, they don't get the job. And with, let's say, four gunsmiths, excluding apprentices, working on a server of 30 regular players, that's about seven and a half guns to upgrade each. It's finite. But not food. Food is consumed by every player all the time and most do not want to spend the time to make it. So why not spend five minutes of your allotted playtime to pull out your game meat, bird meat and salt from your wagon to manufacture 20 pieces of jerky in one tap of your e-muscle. Why not add a hundred pieces to your store and then head off on an adventure, return later and collect your profits? This is literally the closest thing to passive income in Red Dead. And this is how you do it. First, we need to find out whether your server will allow us to pick any object within the world to make our storefront. Rhodes is the busiest town on Yellow Belly RP. So I have picked this abandoned coach as our storefront. We will need to take screenshots of this and where it is on the map. F12 is screenshots. Head over to Discord and contact the government via the support ticket. In the ticket, we will need to let them know that we want to buy a storefront, that we are at the location and have the money to buy the property. Basically, the conversation will go like this. Once you have gone through the setup and paid for your business, place down your campfire and make jerky. I sell my jerky ridiculously cheap. You don't have to. Bottled water is another good item to sell alongside your jerky. Buy empty water bottles, find the water pump and place your campfire next to it. Easy. I designed the jerky box to be easily accessible and visible with low profit margins. With the right pricing, the jerky box can be the sole income for a player. If your server allows the ownership of multiple storefronts, become a franchiser and have one in every town. Yellow Belly only allows a single storefront per player, so I can't do that. When hunting, don't sell your venison at the trapper store. Make jerky. For better dishes, keep game meat and bird meat. Then, during your mining expedition, keep a minimum of 20 salt for your crafting. And that's it guys. You can take this concept and use it with any item within the game. The sky's the limit. Now go out, make your business and become a big part of your server.